U.S. military boats are sailing toward Gaza on a humanitarian mission ordered by the president to construct a floating pier offshore, which they will land on the beaches of Gaza to deliver aid from ships. Once constructed and it's fully mission capable, we're able to, we'll be able to push about two million meals a day uh, onto the shore for, for relief. But experts say the process is time consuming and costly. The joint logistics over the shore is a band-aid. Really the best way to deliver aid is to bring in trucks. But trucks and distribution centers have come under fire, leaving Palestinian citizens starving. The floating pier will take weeks to arrive and another 10 or so days to build. In the meantime, the U.S. military and other countries like Jordan and Egypt are airdropping aid to the Gaza Strip. But even daily efforts yield just a trickle of relief, with a C-130 cargo plane only able to distribute about the same amount of aid as one truck. Sean McFate, the author of The New Rules of War, says the U.S. airdrops and peer distribution plans are reckless. You don't know if the aid is going to the right people because you have no direct physical control over it. And we know Hamas steals from the people. So it seems to me more like a political stunt in an election year by this administration to say he's, quote, doing something rather than to actually do something. As each passing day of war brings more suffering to the Palestinians. Carla Babb, VOA News, the Pentagon.